Okay, this is a HP. What is it, James? It's a HP Pavilion. Pavilion, yeah. TPN model is 15 AC 121 NA. Two jobs to do on this. One is this power unit going in. Just going to focus on that. So that's going to go in. And to do that, we've got to take all this back panel off. Focus, there we go. So you'll take all these screws out. I think there's so many at the moment. Two at the back there. And also, which is important, underneath this rubber foot, there's another screw. So that's got to come off. The other foot's missing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a, a private job that James wants to do. It's my techie. Well, he's not mine. <laughs> Let's work together. Um, and then we've also got to replace the screen. We've took the bevel off, which we've seen in a previous video, but I'll link to this one. It'll be all be one video. There's another one there, another one there. This one here then holds the CD-ROM, so you just slide him out. I'm not going to tell him, I'm just going to let him do it. <laughs> That's your screen, so you've got to separate this bevel. Which one? This here, you've got to separate it from the rest. Mm. So you need to just pull the screen up out of the way, because we haven't replaced the screen yet. And then put it on its base, and then just gently prise it apart, and it'll all come apart. This is the power unit we're replacing. Just held in with one screw there. Let me just focus that. So there, and then this lead, not that one, this one here, goes round the back and connects into that. So I missed that one. So that one there. That's the hinge, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got to come off because it's what's uh. supporting the unit. So you might want to just yeah, just lay it flat. Let's get back a bit, that's it. Sorry, it's my focus. Yeah, and that one. <laughs> learning, mate, learning. There you go. I just gently, it should just lift up slightly out of the way. Hold on one sec. Right. And there's another one just behind there, another screw. Which I didn't notice, I've not done one of these HP before. So there just we go. There. That's it. That should release it enough just to take the hinge part off. Okay, so there is one there, but there's also there's one the other side because it's holding the fan on, which is holding this hinge down. So, I'll do that one as well. That one's been on, that's not one there. That's not one there, it's just a stud, that one. So it's this one? It's that one there, yeah. Be a good excuse anyway, because we can blow out the fan and the heat sink. And you might have to do the whole process, I don't know. No, that's it. So really, that can just... Just nest in there, it's fine. Okay, and then it just eases out. That gives enough clearance for that to get, and then there we go. And then you just unplug it from there, James. Do you want to do that? That's it. Pop the new one in. It can only go in one way around. Okay, that's just a bit more force needed, Jamesy. E. <laughs> and then this one will just slide back in underneath there. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so it's just a matter of just pulling this up slightly and pulling it back. James give up in the end. He couldn't be asked. And he starts losing his cool. So don't forget, you've got to put the screw back in with the fan. James, you want to do that? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So one screw to go in there. And then you've got... First. One there, and one there, not there, remember? Not that one. Okay. So reverse procedure. 
and this. Can you just touch my focus, please, Jack? <laughs> okay, that did it for me. There. So the center plastic's missing and it wasn't charging properly. So what should it look like then, Mark? Give me an example mm. of what it should look like. And the new one, there. Oh, yeah. Big defo. Nice. Okay, it's just a matter of putting everything back in. James did blow it out, but we couldn't because we had to visit her, so we couldn't show you that. But it's just an air, airline, just blow it through, blow the fan through, and then stab the <laughs> lamps <laughs> with your screwdriver. So you put all the screws back in, then you drop the rubber feet. Like I said, there's only there's one missing, so I drop the rubber foot back on again. And then we'll do There's the notice on this because this has been dropped, so we're replacing the screen. But these two holders here have broke away from the plastic, but it's still held on with another couple of screws here. So we'll try and see if we can do that and be all right. See if that will be all right, I meant to say. All right, so put the screen on. So have you got any pl plastic film with that? I'll show you. So this is like, I don't know if it's a 40 or 50 pin. It's a 50. It is, is it? Yeah. Line it up, push it home, quite safe, and then you might have to replace some of the sellotape. But this looks it's still sticky, so it's all right. So just make sure that's nice and firm. And then it's this simple. All you got to do, it's quite an easy screen to do, James, this one. And just pop him back in. And you got, uh, sorry, there we go. So you'll have to they'll line up like that. Okay, so we've got little tiny screws to put back in there, back in this one. The best thing to do, because what we had, we had trouble with the screws with this, so your best thing to do is to screw these back in first, into place, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I put the screen back out for now. Because it's been damaged, we haven't done this, it's been damaged, it's been dropped, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is then put these back in, yeah, put, so put a screw in there, Put one in there, one back in there, and then the screen will fit in nicely. Okay, okay screen back in, popped all the screws in James has. Lens well, young one. Put the bevel back on now, the bezel, not the bevel, the bezel. Just clips in, pushes over the hinges at the bottom, that's it. And that's it. Stop power. Chunk of the battery in it. All right. Right. <laughs> Give it a test. What does it need? Is the light come on? Wee. Did you see James' reflection? He thinks he's good looking, but he doesn't look. God Almighty, mate! <laughs> you need to get some <laughs> surgery. <laughs> and there we go. Screen, power unit. Should we test it in a minute? We'll wait till it comes up and see if the power comes on. Okay, let's just see James is just plugging the power in. We switched it on. Double check. It could be that that's not really far. Okay, so it's not coming up with a charge for the simple thing is we think that there's more damage to it than what we thought in the so to confirm, it's a very easy mistake. That was written wrong the wrong way. We don't know who to blame. We were thinking Jack. Because <laughs> he's not here. It was Jack, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Jack. It was Jack, yeah. So Jack put it in the wrong way. But it's all working now. And just to prove it. I don't know if you can see that. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Charging. See the little charge port? There. Okay, thanks for watching. Quickly, get said bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.